How many of you are ready for prayer? You are ready for prayer? Okay. I'm trying to ask God if you are ready for prayer. Are you ready for prayer? Yes. yes. Are you ready for prayer? Yes. My God. If you want to succeed in life, in fact, sometimes I will speak in parable. What I've been saying here, I'm speaking directly to someone, just like that. But I won't tell you it's you, because I don't want to shame anyone. If you want to be successful, sometimes you must check your company. If you want to be what? Successful. If you come close to people who accuse other people, you share the same case. If you come close like this and you find that you are close to the people who accuse other people because people accuse others looking unto their benefit. Because when God blesses us, he doesn't look at our benefit, he look at the benefit of others. But if now you come close like this and you find that you are close to the people who accuse others, it's possibly you can lose your calling. Because remember God, he want our heart to be clean, isn't it? Yes. Eh? And God, look here, God when he calls you, he calls you out alone. But how you respond to others, it matters. So if you are called now, you check, if I'm with this one, what do I speak? What do I speak with this one? Like myself, I'm alone here. I don't have a friend. And when I move here, I'm going to my office there. So if you come close like this, I'm sure my brother is hearing me this one. Sit up, brother. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Huh? Huh? If you come close to the people who accuse others, it's possible you can lose your calling. And second, it is possible they can use you to get their benefit. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. Eh? Yes, sir. Yeah, God said, I must tell you. In fact, Amen. when I'm speaking, I speak a parable like this. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. You know what I'm talking about? I know. Yeah. So if you come close like this, very soon you will hear about other people. And now, be careful it does not affect your calling. Because the question is, why are they telling you? You hear what I'm saying, brother? Amen. Eh? Yes, sir. So God wants to use you. In fact, God wants to use you as an apostle. Look what is look, look what is happening to you. Can you see what is happening to him there? Did I touch him? Did I touch him? So I was always speaking para because this issue of speaking with you. Sometimes I even know the names of people, but I will tell you, it's useless. But I will speak with para and say, keep quiet. You hear what I'm saying, brother? Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> because I've seen this person standing close to you. And this, you can be used. And you find that it affects this anointing of your calling. And later, you lose your calling. You're surprised. Ah, my church is not growing. My church is not growing. What is happening? Huh? It's true. And Is it true? Yeah. Last year, I, I tried to reprimand that guy. And then... Can you hear you say that guy? He said, he said to me, you are like your father. You are not different in anything. And then he your went, father was different to me. Yes, he went away before, before even we could 
finished the conference, he went away. He said, I'm, I'm no longer continuing anything with you. He said, no, it's fine. So we never contacted each other from there. So Brother, we, did you tell me this thing I'm telling you? Uh, huh? Did no. you tell anyone here? No. And he, yes. So you're, you are my son? Yes, I've been. Huh? I've, been I've been submitting here. You came to me, you say you're my son. Oh. Or you just come to church. I'm still huh? preparing one of my uniform. So you are preparing. Know. So why the person tell you like your father, where else I don't know you? He knows I'm following you. He knows. Huh? Because he knows I'm following you. So he said, I'm no longer doing anything. But now anything. I'm telling you the message. You understand? Yeah. This is an apostolic calling. <laughs> And this calling is yours. Can you see someone say, the person is saying, say, your father. And he's not telling him, he's saying, he's not my father, too. I mean, maybe he came here like you. You attend here. You understand? How can you be my father? I've not seen your tithe. I don't know your name. I don't know which, you, even your church name. I don't know. So this is something that it's a lesson to all of us. Brother, so whom do you know here? Huh? Yeah, is there anybody you know here? No one. Huh? No one. So God wants to lift you, brother. Because I'm just hearing something like Sasha, Sako, Sako, Okay. Receive anointing in Jesus' name. You're anointed. Okay. 